We brought the different plastics um, from the disassembly that we did and the metals and all the different parts to us. Uh, Paul, he basically uh, takes the waste and separates it and then they take it to another recycling facility where they'll recycle just plastics or anything like that. Um, so we'll ask him some questions. Do you think we can recycle disposable razors? Okay, so I think it depends mostly on what it's made of. If, yeah. you, if it's made of something that's easily recyclable, because at the moment, the way I see it, recycling isn't easy yeah. and recycling isn't cheap. Mm -hmm. um, and until it gets easier and cheaper, people are not motivated to do certain things. So if somebody approached me and said, what do I do with them? I would probably tell them to put it in there. Mm -hmm. um, at least then it has a chance. In the old days, you'd have a razor like that. You'd buy one, it would last you for the whole life, oh. and it was made of metal, and it would last you for your whole life. And the only thing you're replacing are the tiny little blades. Yeah. You push a button, it pops open, you take the blade out. Now that metal can be recycled, right? The little mm -hmm. blade. Yeah. Where you've got Gillette bringing out a new handle every six months. Oh, we've got 17 blades now. Oh, this one vibrates, this one's got a laser on it, and all that kind of stuff. The new razor doesn't fit the old blades, so the old handle becomes uh, useless and it ends up in the bin and you've got yeah. them there they're not they're not easily recyclable anyway well the thing is with the some of the recycling that happens um, it just goes through like a conveyor belt and it gets smashed up right so with the razor blade you'd think that if you just smashed it to a point and you have a magnet strong enough yeah. you'd be able to drag the metal out anyway and all you'd be left with was the plastic yeah you'd think that that would be a, a decent enough method to do it but it's the plastic I'm not sure about